I remember back when I first started doing YouTube videos, I think the number one comment that I got for like years and years and years was what choke dupe do you use? That's a big question to ask because there's just so many different variants. And personally, I don't do all the scientific stuff when I pick a choke tube. We're gonna get down to the nitty gritty on the chokes that I like to use, why I like to use them, and give you guys a little bit of an introduction to choke tubes if you're new to hunting and uh, figuring out what tube to use for what application because it actually does matter quite a bit. Every gun that you purchase is going to come, at least most all guns that you purchase new, are going to come with a set of choke tubes. Your choke is going to constrict your shot. So a shot shell is loaded with a bunch of pellets. The pellets go with the wad down the barrel and when it exits, the choke tube is going to constrict or open up and that last little bit of your gun barrel, the constriction that that choke tube offers is going to give you a tighter pattern at a further range or a more open pattern at a closer range. It all depends on what you're trying to do and what game you're trying to pursue and at what distance you're trying to shoot. The three main tubes that you're gonna get in a set that would come in like a little box like this or in bags like this, like this came with the Benelli, this came with the over under CZ. Um, you're gonna get a bunch of different tubes. Some of them have markings like two, two dots on the top or like the Winchester tubes, they have improved cylinder, modified, whatever. Um, or Benelli, they have the stars on there. The different markings mean different things, so go refer to your owner's manual to figure out what those mean and what constrictions are. And you also need to be mindful of if it is rated for steel shot or if it is a lead only tube. Like this full choke, uh, I'm pretty sure it doesn't even say. Uh, I know these Benelli tubes say it. Uh, some of these tubes are only rated for lead shot. It like no steel shot full choke. So, don't be shooting steel shot through it. Your tubes are gonna range from cylinder, which is gonna be your most open tube. So if you're trying to shoot birds sub 15, 20 yards or so, your improved cylinder is gonna be a great option. All the way to your full, which is gonna be your tightest patterning tube. And most of the full chokes that come with guns are not rated for steel shot. So the tightest pattern you could probably get is a modified with the tubes that come with the gun. The three main tubes that you're gonna be using for any type of bird hunting are going to be improved cylinder, modified, and full choke. An honorable mention would be the improved modified, which lands in between the modified and the full choke. So it's tighter than a modified, more open than a full. Improved cylinder, great all around choke tube for any type of bird hunting you're gonna be doing. The downside is that you just don't have the pellet density at range. I would use an improved cylinder for a dove hunt for sure. Every single time I am throwing a improved cylinder in. It is by far my favorite tube to use for dove hunting. Teal hunting, another great option. Teal like to decoy. And most of the time you're shooting teal really close. So an improved cylinder is gonna open up that pattern a little bit at those close distances and allow you to connect with targets. I think a lot of people over constrict their guns and that leads to them missing more birds than they probably should. So if you open up the pattern just a little bit, especially on dove hunting, like I've talked to a lot of people that say that they use a modified or a full choke to dove hunt and they're like going through a, a box of shells for three birds. So open up your pattern. I, I'm telling you guys, when you go switch to an improved cylinder for any type of tight river hunting, so small creeks, small ponds, you know, stuff where the birds are gonna be in the decoys and you're gonna be shooting most of your shots within 20 yards, go with the improved cylinder. Now modified, this is my favorite. I love shooting a modified. I think it's the most versatile tube out there. Uh, it's good for shooting ducks at 20 yards. It's good for shooting ducks at 35. So. If you're looking for a tube that will stretch out your distance, but also be good at those close range shots and give you a little bit of leeway uh, on those tighter decoying birds, go with a modified tube. Uh, this is my favorite tube for duck hunting and it's almost all the time that modified tube is in my gun. The biggest debate in waterfowl hunting is full choke or modified choke. I'll leave that to the comment section to decide. So if you guys have a tube that you like, 
drop it down in the comments. Do you guys like modified or full chokes or are you a decoy tube kind of guy? Um, personally, I don't use a full choke. I never really liked shooting long range full chokes. I've tried them a couple of times. Uh, I've considered, I, like I, I've considered it, but why mess with something if it's working for me already? So that's why I kind of stick to what I've got in my guns. Your improved cylinders, decoying ducks under 20 yards and dove hunting, and you could probably use this on a pheasant or a quail hunt, okay? Your modified tube is great for just your typical day out in the field. Dove hunting, quail hunting, any, any kind of hunting really, you can be, do it with modified choke. Just know that you're really not gonna be very effective outside of about 30 to 40 yards. That's kind of your max shooting range with your pellet density is usually gonna be about 35 to 40. Now your full choke, you're gonna get a tighter pattern out there. It's not gonna give you better velocity down range or any, any kind of advantage to being able to shoot further. Uh, it's just gonna give you a tighter pellet spread at those long distances. So if you're somebody who shoots divers and you're out there shooting cranes or big geese that don't like the decoy or snow geese, just in situations where you're taking further shots, I would say to use your full choke because then you're gonna get a tighter pellet density at a longer range. Those are the three. I would keep them all in your blind bag or in your gun case, so then you can swap them in and out uh, depending on how your hunt's going. Like if they're decoying close, go ahead and switch to that improved cylinder. Or if they're not decoying quite like you thought or you're just having to take further shots, take a few seconds and throw that full choke in. All right, aftermarket tubes. I don't want to dive into this that much. Uh, I kind of want to just give you guys the basic rundown on choke tube selection and what I like to use them for. The only two, well, I've, I've used three different aftermarket tubes. I've used the Carlson's Cremators. Uh, this one is Carlson's as well. It's not a Cremator tube. And then Kicks, and I have a Mueller tube in my 18i, which is not up here. So. Aftermarket tubes, what do I think? I really like that Mueller tube. I, I, I would buy another one. I really want to throw them on paper. Uh, I think that pattern I got out of that Weatherby with that Mueller tube, like I had some incredible shots and it was a decoy tube. Uh, I, I don't know. I, I just felt like something magical was happening between that gun and that tube and it was working really well. Uh, on my 20 gauge, I usually run the mid-range Carlson's Cremator. This is the long range. I've yeah, I've shot it before. I don't know if I've shot it all that much. I just, like I said, I don't like throwing the long range tube in because I feel like I would miss those closer shots. Um, it would take some adjusting. That I guess that's the best way to put it. So maybe I'll throw some, throw some clays this summer and try out that full choke and just see if I can get dialed in with that. And then this is the Kicks High Flyer ported tube. I don't care enough to dive deep into them. Like I'll purchase one that I know I like, like the Cremators. Like I'll. I'd buy a cremator for every gun that I have and I'd be a happy guy. Just throw it in there and call it a day. I haven't done the work to deep dive into figuring out what choke tube is the best. So if you guys want to see that, let me know down in the comments. But that is a, kind of a simple rundown on choke tubes. There's just a lot to them. There's a lot of different types, a lot of different constrictions. And uh, the one company's modified could be another company's full based on constrictions. So it is it, it, there's a lot that goes on to it, but my simple answer is it, go with a mid-range and you will be happy for any type of game pursuit that you're going for. And uh, you can always just keep that improved cylinder in the back pocket and that full choke if you need it. Uh, but most of the time, I'm not shooting anything outside of 40 yards and that mod modified choke does pretty good. If you guys enjoyed it, leave me a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for every Wednesday. New waterfowl con content coming out for Waterfowl Wednesdays and we got hunting season coming up. So stay tuned. It's going to be here before we know it. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.